Well, me and my son took the pups out the other day, and um, I figured I'd kind of start this video out explaining a little bit of what we're doing, why we're doing it. But uh, we just take, it, it's kind of many steps in the making of, for me, a bear hound. So I'll explain more at the end of the video, but uh, if y'all want to watch this next little bit, and then I'll, I'll talk more about it. Well, me and Easton's got hour and a half, two hours where we gotta be anywhere. So we decided to just grab the pups up and go take them out for a while, let them play. So.
riding down the road had to run into town and do a few estimates but kind of figured I'd finish up that video from the other day where me and Easton we had the pups out for a while um, we we kind of do it so much that we just take it for granted but saying all that a lot of people or a lot of guys just don't understand or or maybe, maybe they understand they just don't take it all right, well probably just get caught up and time gets away from them but a lot of guys don't understand how important that uh, having them pups out when they're especially around that age which mine's you know pushing four months but you know three four month old range just having them out and about and letting them be exposed to more um, just more situations more more the more things that way so when you actually put them in a hunting scenario they can have you know a clear mind they've already had well let me just put this way you don't want you know our season comes in in august middle of august or so here in virginia and um you, you don't want to be put in a situation where that first morning of training season you got that say it's a one-year-old pup now you got it out and about you know get to wherever you're hunting and uh it's done got car sick you know you finally you get it out of the truck let it loose and then 20 minutes later you still can't catch it and then uh same deal whether you you, you put it on lead trap and you have either a tug of war or it's flopping around like a fish because it ain't never had anything around its neck before um I reckon what I'm saying is it's just a lot of that stuff can be took care of before you put them in that one situation <clears throat> and they'll do, they'll just handle the training and the situations of the hunt scenarios uh, so much better be just easier on them than you but you know same deal for us shot and collars which I run you know the alpha 200 but and that's one of the greatest things ever especially in you know the helm hunt world but it can also be it's a great tool and it it can be one of the greatest things but it can also ruin dogs in the wrong hand they especially pups so but that's a whole other subject maybe maybe one day i'll actually do another video about them or or talk about them but I reckon just uh, you know getting getting the hounds out, even if it's without any training or, or trying to train them, or just just getting them out little, just fooling with them pretty much, is uh, so beneficial for then when you or makes it so much easier when you actually start putting them in the hunting world. So, but anyway, well, uh, I'm going to try to do my best at uh, keeping the camera around and filming a little more and uh, if y'all you know if y'all want to see more in the future I reckon just hit the like and subscribe button and uh, I'll I'll do my best to upload more in the future so anyway well thanks so much for watching and I'll catch y'all on the next one